the Resident Evil Village first demo came out today. If you have a PlayStation, uh, it was also on a timer, which sucked. Uh, and that means maybe you missed a lot of stuff. So in this video, we went through everything a bunch of times, and we're going to show you what you may have missed or some new things that are coming in Village. A couple notes, the timer runs while cutscenes are happening and while you're paused. So it's really annoying because there's like 15 minutes of cutscenes. And you can also beat the demo in about three minutes if you just run through it. There's a locked door here in the graveyard. And so I decided to grab photo mode, which is kind of clunky and annoying. Uh, but I looked inside there, turned up the brightness, did all the settings, and I found a piece of a tombstone that looks like it says Claudia. Um, and I'm guessing that's for the real game and not for the demo because we didn't figure out how to get in there. But it was interesting that they had that sitting there to look at. Next up, speaking of graves, there's a one grave out of all of them that you can actually select, and it's a girl named Eva, and she died when she was 10. Interesting, it says, may you slumber for only a short time. Uh, kind of feels like zombie-ish type language. In past Resident Evil games, there were different kinds of bobbleheads that you shoot, and you want to collect them all for trophies and prizes or something. Uh, in this one, it's goat totems, and they kind of make a noise just like the other ones, so if you're really quiet, you can hear when they're hidden, and uh, they have that bobblehead as well. Uh, you find one right away as soon as you walk in. You can't miss it. Second one's in the beginning also, and it's right on top of the church where the shrines are. Ethan can actually climb over short fences, so in the field there's a lot of hidden items on the left side. And on the top left corner, jump over the fence, go to the back, there is the third goat. And if you found a fourth one, or more than three, let us know. There are two bird cages. First one's in the beginning, go to that main end door, turn right. Go down the path, look up, and you'll see the cage up there. It has scrap metal inside of it. The other cage is located in the field. There's zombies everywhere, so you might want to take them out first. On the right side of the field, there's a big pile of hay. And up in a tree on that right side is a cage inside, I think, our chem fluid. <laughs> There are treasures kind of like the spinals from Resident Evil 4, so you'll see like a little flashing thing in different places, so look around. Uh, I found two of them here in the demo. The first one is on the Maiden of War statue on the goat shield, the eye, and then the other one is in this shrine room. You just look up, shoot it down, pick it up, and in the game you're going to sell those to the Duke for cash money. We also find a cool treasure, uh, basically there are three guys in the beginning before you go into the room with the dad and the girl, and if you kill one of them, he's got a crystal skull on him, and it's interesting because it's a vampire skull. The other day, new screenshots kind of showed us this cool shot here of the four heads of the houses in Resident Evil Village. And in this shrine room, we get a closer look at all four of them again, and including the Moreau and Benvenuto uh, house leaders, uh, which we haven't really seen much of yet. More RE4 vibes here. Um, you can activate a bunch of guys and they'll have them all chase you and then run into this little building and close that bookcase behind you. Uh, the windows are already boarded up um, and then basically it keeps the guys outside for a little bit. You can shoot through the window and knock them down and kind of stay in there as long as you can before they break through. Flower, it's a new thing you can shoot and watch what it does. It stuns the enemies and they get stunned for a while. I guess it depends on your difficulty level probably. Um, red barrels are back in RE8, but uh, the flower is new and that's pretty cool. And it does a really good job to uh, get at least these guys stunned. Um, 
nothing crazy in terms of notes. Uh, there's one in the first house, mentions lichens, uh, some kind of poet, poetic type thing. Um, in the church, next to the shrines, there's a map, and that basically uh, just shows us where the two pieces are. Um, in this waiting room, that's Loiza. Her husband's missing Ernest. This note tells us that, and it says Mother Miranda has abandoned them, um, which means she used to be good, I guess, or helpful. Uh, and then there's this book in the back, and it shows some different areas of the game, which is cool. And maybe it's concept art. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. And then there's a note at the end that just basically tells us to examine the uh, truck key to find the screwdriver. With limited time and limited enemies, you probably didn't even die, but uh, here's what happens if you do. They do like, they hit you with their weapon, and it could be either weapon, they have different weapons, and then they basically eat you. So. There are a couple things new to Village, like how you open boxes, you can now press X, you don't have to take out your knife and it'll kind of do it for you. Uh, the demo also let us do the thing where now after Ethan blocks, he can do a punch and a kick to push the bad guy away, which was not in RE7. The demo gave us a look at the new trigger mines, uh, which blow up these zombie guys and make them fry. The map is interesting. It kind of auto-completes as you go through it if you don't find a map. Um, it shows you like the lockpick doors that you missed, it shows you different keys you need, it shows you wells, it shows you a bunch of different items, and in the demo it gives us the name of two other keys that we'll probably have to find in the real game. And then there's a lot of scrap metal, gunpowder, a couple chem fluids, and uh, that's how you craft things, but I mean it's really similar to just combining things in past games. So that's all the cool stuff we found. There were some other things that we just didn't have time to show here. And I'm sure we missed a bunch of stuff because 30 minutes is not enough time to find everything. But um, not sure if the community found more things. Let us know in the comments. Uh, subscribe for more videos like this about the actual game. And for other cool stuff on Resident Evil Village, click the like button. I love you. Goodbye.